Okay, here we are back at on December 18, 1942. It's nighttime or early morning hours. Maybe uh, midnight, post midnight, that type of thing. But uh, trying to get north. I feel like my stuff isn't going f in the Bay of Bengal, going for far enough north for my taste. Trying to avoid... Ooh, I knew that was coming. Literally, I cringe every time he fires at one of my ASW assets. I know, I know. We've got plenty, and he can't sink them all. But still, it's, it's just absurd how accurate these subs are against the small, small ships. All right, it looks like he's trying to mop up these bases down here uh, between Timor and, and um, New Guinea, which, I mean, technically it's fine, because I don't know what he's going to do with those bases. Let's see how today goes. I've got massive air action over Burma. I'm nervous because... I'm nervous on so many levels. One, even if everything goes wet, uh, go, goes off, doesn't mean I'm going to do well actually in the air. Two, if my sweeps don't go or don't go quick enough, what what kind of situation am I going to find myself? I don't know. It, long and short of it is, this could be I could lose a lot of stuff today. <clears throat> All right, here at uh, the southern tip of Borneo. Uh, well, maybe technically because of how the map is oriented southeast. Anyway, uh, we get a torpedo into the cargo ship Toa Maru. Oh, come on. Yeah. Of course, I, I have no expectations. Of detonation but it'd be nice if we could <clears throat> get more you know I'm greedy like that I want every torpedo to detonate first I want it to hit and then I want it to detonate all right here's our first sweep and he is covering Pegu I mean uh, sorry this is north of Pegu on the road there but I think he has Whatever he has here, um, and this could be bad too. I have a lot of stuff coming into this hex, but I all a lot of fighters. But I also have dive bombers, so this could be a bad turn. All right, we're gonna have a lot of these air actions. Um, He has his best stuff, looks like. I'm guessing. Well, I think he has his best pilots in these Tojos. They seem to be really tough and rugged and hard to shoot down. And they do good work on my pilots. So, I mean, my aircraft. So, this is going to be tough to dig them out. But we have the our best stuff hitting Mole Mine. Because I want to hit that airbase so bad all right and there a nick took out a hurricane wow i'm impressed all right let's um man we're not doing too well here let's knock this out yeah we got shredded here <clears throat> we hardly we, i don't even think we did anything to him but we got more coming, and hopefully we just wear them out. All right, I'm going to let this go for a little bit, see how our initial um, wave goes.
Yeah, this is another poor uh, sweep. Let's just knock it out. Okay, this one we we do get a couple of kills, maybe more, but um, at least a couple, hopefully. Oh, crikey. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, right. So, <clears throat> on purpose, I did a sweep over here because I didn't, didn't have the reach. Um, and just to see, I don't know what he's covering. But also, I can see he has tanks, tank division, or, or uh, a regiment of the tank division. So that's nice. A little bit of a recon there. Okay. Let's get a few more kills, guys. But I probably have another two squadrons coming. Let's just see how they do. Um, because I don't want to be here all day. And because this really isn't that exciting, at least from my point of view, where we're, uh, we don't seem to be doing too well against these aircraft. Um, maybe we could call it fit uh, even one for one. But... Yeah, my dive bombers are going to get shredded. Okay. So, yeah, I think so far we're looking at, you know, one for one trade. Okay, here's some Tojos. Maybe this is our, his expert pilots. Our Hurricanes can wear them out, maybe, and then P-38s can come shred them. I don't know. And just skip this. Uh, this is painful. <laughs> I think my P-40Ks, I have noticed that they're not up to par with these Tojos. But that could be, <clears throat> just as I say that, they shoot one down. But that could also be the pilot, um, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? The lack of parity here. He may have better pilots in these aircraft. I know I've probably done a lot of damage to his pilot pool but um, he's probably taken the best pilots and put them in these, this key theater actually yeah Let's, I, I'm kind of curious how our P-38s will do here they are just the E's, although, um, you know, they should still be half decent, I would hope.
All right, I think we've shot down three so far in just this battle here. Um, I'll give it half a minute here, and then we'll just skip. See, see how... Well, he shoots one down. Now, the problem is we're over enemy territory, so we may lose a lot of pilots here. <clears throat> kind of rolling the dice on this turn. See how we do. All right, let's skip this. Um, okay, six aircraft get through, which means we're uh, we're really wearing this our enemy out here. I may have one more squadron coming of of hurricanes into this hex now. Whether they come before the bombers do or not, that's the other question. Or if they come at all, because I I know I've seen things where just the, the sweep doesn't go, but <clears throat> we'll see. So far, I'm I'm comfortable with how this turn has played out. I'm not happy with some of the losses we've in, incurred, but we've also inflicted some decent losses as well. Now, he's flying really high because he's diving... So when we when when our uh, dive bombers the Knicks might be lower maybe that's why they're uh, they're not in a lot of these battles because they're flying low and that that's the ones I need to shoot down but because the Tojos might be too high our bombers come in and as long as he doesn't um, catch us ahead of time like with radar or something. We might sneak in under the Tojos and be able to bomb whatever troops he's got here. But certainly <clears throat> by sweeping three different hexes in Burma, uh, he may have to keep his aircraft spread out for defense. But at the same time, I may need to... I'll probably take tomorrow off, let these aircraft and their pilots re recover, <clears throat> and he can do whatever he needs to do. Maybe he'll recover too, but I feel like going at it too quickly, um, especially if he stands down, then we're just going to strain our pilots unnecessarily. All right. Also, this has a tank regiment in it. Good to know. But this is another situation where I think the even I think he's flying really high here too. And our bombers are flying low, like at 10 or, or less thousand feet. So he may, <clears throat> um, he may not be able to get our bombers from flying so high. He's likely going to try to hit Prome <clears throat> tomorrow. In fact, he might hit it today. Um, we just expanded a level 2 airfield. He may decide, hey, uh, that's a threat to me. Let me bomb it. And we're not ready. We don't have our... We don't have any cap there. Everything was sweeping this turn to this very hex. We'll see.
Okay. So he's opting to keep bombing Rangoon. Uh oh. Alright, so we destroy a Sally. I just need to get supplies in there so badly. Okay, see this? We're getting... Uh, all these are destroyed. That probably means he, all of his assets are... Um, damaged and so now every hit is a destruction okay this is good good to see so he has one tojo left if our dive bombers hit now without waiting for PM they should get in cleanly without um, encountering anything so just have to hope they go in before the afternoon All right, we're having a hard time with just one Tojo. <clears throat> uh, that's so silly, but we do have another chance. Come on, guys. This guy must be some kind of a... It, okay, there we go. Alright, perfect. No opposition here. Alright, I'm just watching this. I don't normally watch bombing runs, but I do like to watch the air uh, the airfield ones where there's something parked there because I want to see what I, what I can expect uh, results uh, um, from these raids on his, um, his air losses. And it looks like we've hit several, and this is just the, the first wave. <clears throat> We've got a lot more aircraft coming. I'm bringing everything, even tired air, air pilots. Whether everything flies or not, that's always a different story. And I just hope no, nobody waits till afternoon and then the cap is back up. Wow, that was that was bad for him. I think like Cloud, th this couldn't uh, this well could have been better if it was clear. But it, it's really a good day. F it just happened to roll the dice and got good weather here at Mole Mine. Let's see if um, let's see what happens. We got twenty eight Blenheims. These Blenheims are have done a lot for me. Okay. 
lot of uh, damage, that's for sure, but um, what he can do is he can rail them out of there. Well, that's not true. He can rail them out of there, but only to his bases in Burma. He can't rail them like Chiang Mai or um, Bangkok or anything like that. So they're stuck in Burma, damaged. So if he empties the base of air units because of this bombing run, um, which I don't know if he will or not, but this base is going to be wrecked. Sorry for taking all this time. It's just this is this is gonna be pretty epic. I think um, <clears throat> I probably could speed it up because it's two bo two aircraft one um, one. Yeah, it's just it's stacking up. This is gonna be a rough day for for Japanese air the air force. This this is just this is not telling the tale. By the way. Four Tojos, one Helen, one Sally, one Oscar, one Dina. It's got to be way worse than that. Plus, look at all these hits. Six air base, five supply, 34 runway. Um, that's pretty devastating. And we got more coming. Man, I'm glad I brought everything. I was, I was wondering if these Hudsons would be worth it, but they're they're doing they're destroying some things. Now, of course, these bombs aren't the 500-pound bombs, nor the Blenheims, so the damage to the airbase won't be as bad as the bigger bombers, but these, this is going to be something. So what happens is... He may have the pilots sitting here after this bombing run. He may have damaged aircraft. He may have repaired aircraft. But if he wants to fill these, and he may have tons of aircraft in the pool, but it, in order to fill these back up, he's going to be bringing them in into damaged squadrons, which means, uh, I mean, into squadrons, and they'll be damaged in a like a state of maintenance, which means that they'll be, uh, what's the word, I, um, not susceptible, anyway, they'll be um, vulnerable, <laughs> they'll be vulnerable damaged aircraft parked on the, in the airbase. Now these things, all, uh, I hope they don't let me down, but these things do carry 500 pound now. And eight of them. This is basically like a B-17 coming in right now. So this should be good. We'll see. And there's 15 of them. If I can get away with this raid um, and damage enough stuff, this may threaten his port uh, enough, his operations with his 
um, bombardment group that he may s stop that daily bombardment. But of course he could launch from Tavoy or something, but this this endangers that because if without air units covering mole mine, um, his port is is under threat. <clears throat> Yeah, man, this is pretty bad. Okay, I've kind of seen enough. I think we get the point, right? I mean, this is nice to see, but I don't know. It just seems like it's running long, and I really hate to take all this time. But, I mean, I don't know. It's not every day that I get this kind of bombing raid, so it's... Uh, But you notice there's no flak um, s smoke, so he may not even have an aircraft here. Which is not ideal for him. But you can see the numbers here, and I think they're a lot more than that. This may be, there. I doubt this is more. Uh, I mean, I doubt there's more than this, but man... Here comes more. These are 500 pound bombs as well, but I want to say there's just six, not eight, or something like that. But anyway, it still should be devastating. Okay. Um, so all those, <clears throat> maybe we're getting in payback, payback for all those shore bombardments, right? All right, so um, three more Tojos destroyed on the ground. Again, the, the, the thing is we're not nailing pilots, uh, but hey, um, this sets him back. He has to bring in new planes, let him build from the ground up type of thing and, and so forth. So, yeah, a little late, buddies, but at least we cleared it before the um, bombers came in. Because when once the bombers came in, there was nothing still. All right, even all vehicles lost. Two more non-combat squads. <laughs> yeah, this is getting old, even for me. Um, the beneficiary of it. So this is just seven, which is half of what came in before, earlier, but I don't know how long it's going to run. We're still hitting some things. Damaging his recon, that's good. But I don't know how accurate this is either. It's this float fighter, recon. You know, I just don't know if it's really recon we're hitting when it says that or what. Okay, that was shorter. We are taking damage, so forget what I said about flag. There has to be something there firing back at us. There might not be much left there at Terrapo. Now, what, there's a couple reasons I'm bombing Munda. One is really to as a diversion. I don't want him to know we're coming to um, Lunga. But the other is because I don't know if he still has uh, search planes there. So let's see how we do.
Well, uh, we didn't hit any aircraft that we know of anyway, so. Whoops. Uh. All right, where are my vengeances? No, don't go. Seriously, the, these guys need to bomb. Come on. No. Uh, our heavies didn't go, and now they're going to come in. And, and our dive bombers didn't go, which means they're going to get shredded when the afternoon cap goes back out. You know, I could force an afternoon sweep by telling my fighters to do a naval attack and then sweep in the afternoon. I should do that with my P-38, split them up. See, we're coming in and Nicks are up in the air. So I'm going to skip this because, uh, and we'll just see how many Liberator 2s we have when we're done. Okay, all 14 got through, so there, at least there's that. Um, now it looks like we're just doing damage, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, we hit a Helen, destroy a Helen. Um, I'm just gonna knock this one out. I don't know how long it's gonna take. We do destroy a significant number of aircraft on the ground and, um, some damage to the base. Okay. And there's half the number of nicks now let's uh, also skip this see how we do okay all 14 of our b24s get in and it's gonna be some more uh, slaughter of aircraft yeah it's just mayhem all right it's I'm getting diminishing returns I don't know if it's just because it's just so completely wrecked or what but all right, we're hitting. Okay, we're hitting the port because I think he has ships here. Oh uh, yeah, we're hitting a. We hit a ship. Uh, this um, um, uh, mine mine, what is it? Minefield tender. Uh, we sank it with one bomb, but uh, hey, it's a ship. It's a. It's a. At least one point, right? Yeah, I saw that he had at least a ship there and decided to go for it. To give it a whirl. Ah, oh, thanks for sweeping there, buddy. After the bombers went. I didn't know what to expect in the way of fighter protection. Okay, our vengeances, vengeances didn't even go. But that's, I mean... It is what it is. All right. Let's see if we can. I know these things aren't designed for, uh, aren't like purposely designed for anti sub warfare, but we have depth charges on these boats. Let's use them. These things might be a little bit meaner than the AMs. Well, 
Well, we have one near miss that caused damage, but... Uh, another. But that, you know, I've had my subs damaged from near misses, and uh, literally the system's damage was just five, and that was it. It, it, was, it was hit, I think, three times with near misses, and... Um, it's like hmm, there's no reason to go back to um, base with five system damage. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Now this is in shallows, but we still can't find it. Seriously? Mm. Okay, they should knock us out. Look at this. It's a whole tank division parked here. I mean, I don't have an I don't have a hope. What? That was a tank division. That is shocking. Um, now we do lose three squads outright. And a lot of disabled devices. We lose 313 to his 122. But the end result is a 1 to 2 odds. Um, I guess terrain is uh, pretty strong there. Yeah, he hasn't turned off bombardment, but, um, oh, wow, he loses five squads, 17 casualties. Here's our shock. Now, that shock attack is just our tanks. Everybody else is just doing a deliberate attack. So, let's see if we can finish off these two units. Okay, one got outright destroyed, but actually, it looks like both did. So, um, we've secured Tulagi, should be able to finish offloading whatever supplies and troop and pieces we've got. His supply, finally, was zero. Our fatigue is up there, but now we can rest and everything's good. So, uh, yeah, good, good day. In fact, great day. Great day in Burma over the air. No, no crazy losses of bombers that I was fearful about. Uh, lost a lot of fighters, I believe, but we did a lot of destruction to Mulmai. So I'm very uh, pleased with this day, I believe. Um, this is just a bombardment with no vis visible effect. And here's another bombardment. Uh, and we're going to go around the map after we're done here. It looks like we lose some guns ourselves. Um, Brisbane, Airfield 9. Get a cru light cruiser. All right, so uh, we'll start here with the ops report and take a look at what you know stands out to us. Um, the Rabal should be empty now, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, you can see what's going on here. Another report that it's empty. Well, it should be. Um, so you can see um, some RAF activity here shooting down a lot of stuff. But then some American get, get, Americans get in the action as well. So...
All right. Okay. For a second there, I was looking at Tarawa. Why am I looking at Tarawa? For for a split second, I was thinking it was Japanese island still. But anyway, it's it's ours. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm just looking through this stuff. Okay, so our carriers got to Brisbane. They uh, they've taken on replacements because we lost a lot of aircraft over um, um, east of the Solomons. Uh, sorry, actually north of that. No, it was east of the Solomons. We lost a lot of aircraft, so we're trying to get replacements. It should be should be good now. The uh, coastal AA regiment at Tulagi got some upgrades on devices because I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of our um, pool of 40 millimeter uh, and 90 millimeter and aircraft. Now, will we need them? Uh, apparently not. His air is all up in somewhere. I mean, he has a lot of bombers. Obviously, some used in China and some used in Burma. But I don't know where the Pacific Air Fleet is because they're gone. Um, Kavieng and, and Rabal are empty. And, and he obviously has none in Tulagi anymore because we took it. And Shortland's empty. Uh, I don't... I don't know where all his air stuff is, uh, but I I, have, I do have a guess. But um, yeah, you can see whatever you want to see there. Um, this is going to be a massacre. All right, so we lose nine twenty nine twenty nine. So it's a it's an epic day on our side. That's the most I've lost in a while, um, but. Not only did he lose double the number air to air, but it was well worth the 29 for 115 destroyed on the field. Um, so this is just huge. All right, I, I'm not totaling that up in my head. Let's just click this 152 to 29. This may be the biggest number yet. I know we've gotten over 100 before, but I don't know if we've gotten over 150. Uh, let's start with the Japanese side. Now this is absurd. 152 to 180. Um, I kn so we'll we'll probably dock all of these Tojos. Um, this is crazy. 141. We saw 115. That's 26 more than. So this is probably the Tojos are off. Um, so, okay, this number is overstated by two. We know that. So this air-to-air, -air, he lost 24 Tojos. That's way more than I thought. But I thought, oh, no, this is, yeah, 24 plus 4 because he had 28 air losses. So, yeah, so he did lose four Nicks and 24 Tojos. And probably all of these 104 includes, um, is overstated by... 26 on the um, Tojos. But still, so if you take all 28 off, he still lost 105 Tojos. <laughs> that's absurd. That's like, oh man, that's like four squadrons, a pl four plus squadrons. That is nuts. That might be his Rabal Air Force, I mean, his Mulmine Air Force. And then, look, did you notice all the damages? I mean, he he may have a ton of aircraft just sitting there on the ground that can't move. Ah, oh, this is going to be crazy. I'm going to have to rethink what I'm going to do because I may have to keep the pressure up and not rest my planes. Let, let's, let's get there. But anyway, and then I'm worried about how many pilots I'm going to lose. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. That is way less than I expected. So nine total out of 29 losses, air losses. Now, my guess is all 15 of these, you know, the planes crash, but the pilots are okay. Well, 
or or these are write offs well from damage hopefully um all right last turn so you know we each lost a ship it, it was worth one point uh yeah so this is worth it because if any tender can operate 150 mines then having one that's worth only one point is well worth uh pu putting somewhere um but anyways it's sunk now um i wonder what that kind what ammo it, it can carry i mean how many of these mines um whatever it's kind of moot now but uh yeah Let's look at this because, uh, whoops, um, because we can. Uh, is there anything that we can see that wasn't here before? Now, this I don't trust, and there's still a destroyer we sank with our torpedoes that I don't see here. But and I, I'm, We're starting to get far enough removed from it. I, I don't even know for sure anymore um, the timing of it. Okay, let's let's do the map check because uh, this is um, this is going to be interesting. Okay, uh, as a result of the carrier action um, on the uh, by the, east of the Solomons, I've, I'm, I have a, enough confidence, and we have sub chasers trying to keep these subs busy. Because when I come up here, I don't want anything in my way. But what I'm doing is I'm loading these amphibious ships when they're fully loaded, which it says loading complete. Uh, we're going to undock and put in some more ships into... Uh, we're just going to keep them here. Do not unload. We're going to put some more ships... We're going to dock some more ships, load up some more of the Marine Division as well as other uh, units that we want. And then we're going to like charge toward Macon because I, maybe we'll grab the tank division here um, because look at all this support stuff that we're not going to have if we go in uh, right now. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing is uh, basically, I'm not going to do this right now. We're just going to undock and, and switch up and, and grab some more uh, cargo, um, I mean, uh, amphibious ships. By the way, that reminds me, um, I'm going to have to tr change this person. I don't even know why I, oh, I think I was trying to do this, but I, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, grab the best guy we can. Um, five political points. That's pretty good cheap. Um, and then we're ready to go. I like to label this. Um, just I don't I don't want to accidentally disband. So if I see D and D, I I know that means do not disband. That's my code. Um, all right. So and sometimes I label it more detailed, like what it's used for. But it's I know exactly what we're gonna use it for. Um, and then we're bringing reinforcements, which I believe just arrived, uh, These uh, this artillery. But we've already eliminated the enemy, so it'll just be a matter of extra defense, I guess. Um, these are weakly held. I think this will be very quick campaign. And then we'll basically have... Uh, I can easily take these bases probably uh, by some fast transports or something. And just pick them all off. And then um, we're inching that much closer to his his defensive positions back here by New Britain and the Bismarck Ar Archipelago. And um, we encountered these subs with our invasion force. And this is by no means all of it. Uh, we've got reinforcements being filled up. And we're going to have to come come back and escort them in and whatnot. So there's still work to be done. 
because what we're bringing in is just the tip of the iceberg but we'll at least start investing this uh this base it's all the 41st infantry division i think we left some behind oh no we got them all all right we've got the whole 41st that's good the whole division should be parked here waiting for reinforcements and then we'll you know um he there's no way he can ev evict us and um speaking of we've got more stuff that arrived here and i think we're almost ready i'm just waiting for a couple more i'm not gonna wait for these really well that should be your next turn uh, oops, um, this will take way too long. I'm not going to wait for this armored regiment. And let's see, this should be here soon enough, and this too. Um, and we've got some more tanks. These are very slow, so I probably will not wait for everything to get in. Um, but as soon as, probably just next turn, I'll toggle these to all move into Buna. And we'll invest uh, Buna as well. So we'll have two bases uh, that we're going to be working on. Um, this should be uh, a look. There's basically, there's 80 guys. He is probably, I, I just have a hunch he's airlifting them out. So by the time these troops get here, it'll be probably empty. Uh, and then what I'll do is maybe start marching them. I mean, they are mountain regiment after all. Maybe I'll march them here to this mountain in between these two and uh, scout this out. And if any of them are empty, I'll just march in and take them. Um, so there's not really much more to talk about in the, this theater. Uh, I've got this Horn Island detachment is trying to hurry up up here because I want to bring them here and build up this base a bit. Uh, but they are locked into Australia, and I can't seem to switch the command to Australia command. So I'm going to have to switch the troops, and um, I'm I'm not in a rush to do that. That's this is this is backwater base, and um, and I'd rather buy out an air unit like these Catalinas and get them here spotting up north um so there's that but the big the big uh chaos that happened today is burma um so we hit this so hard he does still have air units as far as our recon planes show and he's moved a lot of stuff to pegu which means we need to now hit that base uh, and it's actually easier to hit that base, so I I prefer he moved them this way. Um, and it's possible damage stuff got moved up as well. Um, and I'm going to look at my air units, and they look fresh enough. But do the sweepers look fresh? Yeah, they they I'm they're good to go. Um, these guys are a little bit more tired, but, um, and these guys are as well, but see how that range is six. The P40Ks from here could sweep here, but they couldn't, or they'd have to be extended range here, and I don't like that. So I'm content with him moving here, but the question is how what I could do is a night bomber bombing raid. Uh, let my fighters rest one day. Then we go at it again because his aircraft are going to be actually, I'm going to wait a day because if he moved them up here, they'll take a day by rail anyway. So we'll rest everything. The planes arrive and then we bomb them again. That's not a bad idea. Uh, but look at the airfield damage here. 67, those bombers won't fly even if he has them here. So I'm guessing that this is old information that the recon planes told me. And we'll, we'll, ch we'll do night bombing here and we'll rest our fighters. And then tomorrow we'll sweep, 
with what we can from here and here and also of course mandalay and it should be another epic day um destroy some of the damaged aircraft that got railed in um yeah so these guys are still trying to get out onto this road and then we'll and then we'll just run away i may just park them here at tong yi no that that's pointless they still have 100 days of life that is depending on how long it takes to get here we may send them back into the fire at least to park here and hold help hold the fort until they disappear um, on us and these troops are all moving uh, at slow speed but still moving um, southeast and um, into this hex north of Pegu and uh, we're gonna hit this base I mean hit these troops as hard as we can with bombers and everything else when we get there um, as soon as this cavalry gets here we're gonna do the same thing and send everything uh, these two units here and then as uh, hopefully get these this division the 23rd division into the action as well but this, I think, was a smaller force. Um, I, I'm going to recon this because I'm a little leery what's here. Um, if that's a big enough number, I may wait for the 23rd Division to arrive before we go across. Um, but yeah, I think if we hit this hex with enough bombing power uh, when these troops get here... It should it should break because this is a clear hex. We should be able to hit it pretty hard. But yeah, I th think we're gonna shut down his air activity for a while. Now the question is, will he will he get out of here with his ships or will he stay? If he stays, they're in danger because I'm gonna hit this uh, port not today. Well, I could. Um, but I, I don't want to hit the port at night. I'd rather hit this air base at, the, at night and then hit it again in the day with some sweeps and other, other activity. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy and content with this turn. So uh, definitely, definitely hurt, uh, that hurt. All right, so this is uh, this is the idea now is to come over here and start inching our way down into this vicinity like this, and then the battleships will come around and hit whatever's still sitting here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna test the Royal Navy. It's time for them to get in the action, and then I don't I didn't bring any torpedo bombers this time because I wanted to fly air cover over these battleships so we'll park here and fly air cover fly cap and then i'll cap my carriers with from akiab and um and then we'll back we'll get back out and this carrier is done anyway so um so yeah i think now uh i need to build this up more uh, for a lot of reasons, but for one reason, I need to get more air capacity for admin, base admin, so I can bring some bombers, naval bombers, and hit whatever ships he's got here. Um, I was training these vengeances to hit ships, naval attack, but, uh, but then I changed them to bomb troops to hit this, uh, but they didn't go. So uh, I may do the same thing and sweep this again with uh, with with the hurricanes, but I may wait one day, sweep it again, and send the vengeances. See if it works the second time. See if the second time's the charm. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, all around, uh, I could I could put some air uh, fighters. That's not a bad idea. Um, I could put fighters here. 
and then they were they could go with the bombers to make sure they get there safely uh all right china last but not least um although maybe it is least but i've got a pretty cool operation that is in the works already we've got 1700 av here we've got another um well 90 support but we do have um 1200 well 1150 av there and uh, over 600 av here so we've got 3000 av that we're gonna take from here and punch up and i've decided already <clears throat> we're gonna go like this and then left hook threaten this base hopefully you'll see these guys start to withdraw because we'll hit this and then hit this and if he has any troops lingering loitering they'll uh, once we get here if if he doesn't move uh, once we get here, he, he all this this whole army is cut off, and we could start uh, hacking it up. And because I'll basically what I plan to do is as soon as I kick off the operation and start coming up here, I plan to take uh, maybe a thousand AV, maybe more, and drop them like plant them right here. Um, threaten uh and and just basically tie down these units now they can leave i won't i won't keep them from leaving that's impossible but i'll like like this right here we haven't really tied anything down but he's he also hasn't moved since he's gotten here same thing here um you know maybe i take these two bigger core and um come out and just park here he, he i doubt he'll attack me but if he does he'll find that it's pretty strong um and then and then we'll come up here and i may even threaten this one too but certainly if he doesn't withdraw like i said we'll just in fact yeah even if he does withdraw it might be too late we'll see we'll see i'm very uh, i'm i'm looking forward to this operation because he's tied down uh, tied down here and with 3000 av there's nothing he's got down here to contend with it so we'll just push push our weight around we'll probably have to leave some garrison here uh for requirements and stuff and then maybe here as well but certainly we should still have you know 2000 av at least to push into here um and this is this is starting to get rough terrain and we've got urban but uh but then what happens is these troops pushing out of changsha can also uh group up here and we'll have 3000 again and knock him back out so i think we've got something possible positive and as soon as we've uh, we've basically pushed him out of this area here it almost looks like an island or a peninsula but as soon as we push him out of here, just have leave a garrison here, and and he he'll never come back again, and um and then and then march down this way toward Hangchow. That's what I think. But we'll see. Uh, that's a ways away. Uh, I've given myself till January one, but I'll kick it off sooner if I get everybody. But these guys are going so slow. I, I may. Uh, I may literally wait till January 1. You know what? I may not be able to. I really feel like I need all all the troops ready. Um, and I don't want to I don't want to go too early and and um, get do this half halfway. I I, I really want to I really want to have a really heavy punch. Um, what's the garrison here? There is no garrison. What's, what's 400 and, you know what? I'll leave the 425 here because if he marches up from here or here, I don't want to have this too weak either. So never mind. I'm not going to, I'm not going to empty this base out. We'll keep this 465 AV here. All right. I've talked a lot probably too much but i certainly am excited about this theater here 
And I think what that'll cause is when he starts panicking because he's these are in danger uh, and we've got him outnumbered in this theater. He it may he may have to peel some of these guys back, but he may not. He may have like reserves here and here. He may feel like he's content with pulling rear st- you know stuff that's back here i don't i don't i can't see anything or maybe he'll pull some guys out of manchuria i don't know but anyway that's uh that's enough of that um looking forward to the coming turns as we have an invasion um coming at um Milne bay lunga we've got buna operation and then Macon is in the works. It, the Macon will be kicked off the last because we still have to, um, uh, we still, whoops, we still have to get more troops loaded up, and we'll kick it off. But uh, yeah, looking forward to the already to watching this turn resolution and the future. But hopefully it was interesting to you all, and not too. Uh, I mean, as I continue on. Let me let you go. I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. I apologize. I wrapped it up and uh, came to the realization much later. I never showed, I don't think, uh, the Allied results of aircraft losses. So let's take a look at that. We know we lost 29 aircraft, and we knew the types of losses uh, like up here, this um, these columns. We didn't know the types of aircraft. If you look here, we lost 17 Hurricane 2 Cs. That's a lot of hurricanes. Um, fortunately, we have a lot, but it's it's unfortunate because that means that's a lot of squadrons plus damage that won't be able to fly. Partly fatigue, but partly it's just missing airframes that are uh, unready unready airframes so there anyway um and i'll talk about some of the um repercussions when we jump into the next day the when we talk about the 19th resolution uh let's also say we lost 24 let's just say we lost 24 aircraft fighting those tojos um and he lost 24 Tojos. So, you know, hey, we'll take that trade. Um, in air to air, anyway. By the way, we only lost 14 air to air. 14 versus 24 is pretty good. But we lost nine of these hurricanes trying to return. Uh, and then you can see the rest. Um, all right, that's it for that.